Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your man Winston Fitness here. Today, I got another great workout video for you guys. I'm going to be doing biceps and triceps. Everything you need is going to be in the description of the video. I have the full workout breakdown and then the other things like if you want to follow me on social media like Facebook or something like that. Um, got a lot to do, so I'm going to get right to it. Thanks for checking me out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to comment if you have any questions. I'll try to get back to you guys. And thank you for watching. Okay, so for my first exercise, I'm doing barbell curls. And I really like barbell curls because you can go really heavy with these. Um, it allows you to get that progressive overload. And it's a nice movement to add overall mass to the biceps. As you can see, I am jerking a little bit, but that's because I got that extra weight on there. And I want to be able to bang out a few extra reps. Now for this exercise, I did a total of four sets. My first two sets, I did at 95 pounds. My second two sets, I added a 10 pound plate on each side for a total of 115 pounds. And I kept my rep range anywhere from six to 10 repetitions. So for my second exercise, I'm doing dumbbell curls. With these, I did a total of four sets with my rep range ranging anywhere from 20 to 30 reps. And I think I started off with a 25 pound dumbbell, but I didn't go any heavier than 30 pound dumbbell. And I picked up this alternating style pretty much from watching Phil Heath working out. And, and that's pretty much where I got this alternating style from where I do one hand continuously for a certain amount of reps and then I do the other hand and then I go back and forth in that manner until I complete my total rep range that I want for that set.
bicep exercise, I'm doing the dumbbell hammer curls. And just like when I was doing the regular dumbbell curls, I'm doing four sets, keeping my rep range between 20 and 30 reps. Except the only difference is, obviously I'm going cross body. And I also went up on the weight a little bit to 35 pounds. Okay, so now we get into my first tricep exercise. I'm doing close grip bench press. And with the close grip bench press, it pretty much allows you to really go heavy so that way you can overload those triceps. Yeah, it incorporates a little bit of chest, but that's why you keep that close grip so you can really focus more on the triceps. With this, my first three sets, I did a rep range of 12 to 15. And then for my last set, I added uh, about 185 pounds on there and I did about six to eight reps. All right, so this is my final set of this exercise right here. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. I like to trick the muscles sometimes, do a high volume, light weight, and then maybe every now and then I'll throw in a low volume, heavier weight just to try to confuse the muscles so that it doesn't get adapted to the workout so easily. Okay, so for my second tricep movement, I'm doing lying tricep extensions. Some people like to call these skull crushers. First thing, I like to get my elbow slightly behind my head or have my hands a little bit behind my head so the weights have enough room to clear. So that way, in case I fatigue or tire out, I'm not really going to crush my skull. And again, with these, I'm going to do four sets, keeping my rep range between 20 and 30 reps.
Okay, so for my final exercise, I'm doing the overhead tricep extension with a 50 pound dumbbell. Just like before, I'm gonna do four sets again, but this time I'm keeping the rep range anywhere from 25 to 30 reps. This is really so I could try to burn out the muscle, get some blood into them, and really try to force them to grow. Anytime I upload videos, you'll be notified, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces.